Hello everyone and welcome back to another Foamcraft 3 video. Today I'm going to tell you how to start with Foamcraft 3. Firstly, you will need some resources, some planks, some kind of shard, golden nugget, some kind of a heat source, never and flint and steel or lava, a cauldron, and a bookshelf and some paper. You will also need an ink sack, feathers, and a bottle. So let's start crafting. So the first thing you will need is a wand. The wand will use a shard of any kind, a stick and a golden nugget. As you see when I hold the wand, here will be a bar over my inventory slots that increases with Wii's. Right now it has uh, 30 Wii's. Uh, it's increasing from the local aura. You use this wand to make magical stuff. So now I take out the cauldron and the bucket of lava. I recommend lava as a heat source for this. Because you don't need to travel to the nether to find it. So what you need to do is make a hole in the ground, put the lava down, place a cauldron over it, and right click with your wand, and it will turn into a cauldron. It's also recommended that you have an infinite water source clo close by. You will also need a bookshelf to create a Fomonomicon. You just need to right click on the bookshelf with your wand and it will turn to this fantastic book. You just right click on it and you will get into this interface here where you will see all the kinds of research you can do and you can check out some information on like enchantments, tables, the Fomonomicon on itself so it's very handy. Let's see here. I will need this, 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 and this for now. And now we're going to make a table. First thing you will need is wooden slabs. Like this on the top and this on the bottom. We'll need two tables to make a scribing table. So we can start with the research. You place the two tables next to each other like this, and you right click with the scribing tool on the tables. It will turn into a scribing table. This is one of the two ways you can research in Foamcraft. The other way is to randomly drop things into the cauldron, and I really don't recommend it. You will waste a lot of resources and destroy the environment. So use the scribing table. So the scribing table works. With, uh, you put in some resources here, some paper here, and you will see that the resources here is coal and it has ignus, potentia, and sexum. You can find this resource these symbols on any item when you sh hold sh shift or not any, there's some uh, modded items that will not show them like a redstone energy cell but you see coal here has ignus, potentia and saxum and you can set the modes on the table here to cursory and faro Corsary will give you a less increase in your resource, but you are less likely to lose an item. With Faro, you will lose your item more often, but you will get a lot more research done. When you want to research an item, you just click on it here, and you will get some kind of note here, a research note. But this one tells you it's aluminium. And here 
you'll see just some rambles. But if I keep research searching for a little bit, you'll get some text here. And in this text, there are hints about what kind of um, symbols Vitim will need. And as you saw, this requires paper to make the research note. And you will see it's done when it's got like this lightning effects around the symbols. And when you hold, hold over it, it will show you 100%. And now we need Fractus. And I think Fractus comes with cobblestone. As you see here, you can have more than one thing in the slot here, but I don't recommend it. Because when I research here, you will see I can lose coal and cobblestone. I can even lose both. And the research won't go any faster, because f s some items has symbols that overlap. Like the cobblestone has this little rock, and the coal also have that rock. And now I'm finished with the research. It will turn into this fine little scroll. And I can right click it. When you're not in creative mode, you will lose this research, so you can't do anything with it, or give it to anyone. But now when I right click on my Fomonomicon, you will see the aluminium here doesn't blink anymore. So now I can click on it and see how to craft it. So we will need three fractus, six ingots, ignus, in not ingots, and six potentia. So we need to fill up the cauldron with water and wait for it to boil. Boil, damn you, boil. Like this. And we'll need six fractus and. Wasn't it three fractus and six of other ones? Let's take a quick peek. Three and six and six. So now I need to drop in the items into the cauldron. Like this, and double check what kind of things I need. Or so I got the correct amounts. Because the left over will get put out into the atmosphere. So you can destroy your atmosphere with uh, external symbols, and you will get some bad effects in most cases. Like lightning bolts, wisps, giant zombies, poison effects, and so on. But you drop it down into the cauldron, and then you right click with your wand, and as you know, we'll see the wheeze bar will decrease. So this is aluminium. Here are some good things you can have in your research. These are some good things you can find in the world, like soul sand. It's one of the easiest ways to get the ghost symbol. Here's flint, it's good for the tool symbol. Refined iron from uh, industrial craft is very good for the pure symbol, because the other things that has it, it's like diamonds and so on. And you really don't want to spend your diamonds on research when you can lose them. You can also get some good symbols from sandstone, chiseled sandstone, and smooth sandstone. The chiseled sandstone has magic, and the smooth sandstone has this yeah, thing. I don't know what it's called. It's the same that gold has. So sans smooth sandstone is a lot cheaper than gold. Glass is a good thing for crystal. Crystal is the same that diamonds has also. And this is glass paints. 
because you get a lot more symbols in total for glass panes than you get from regular glass. Arrows is a very good one for the attack or weapon symbol and it's a pure one so it only has the this symbol so it's very easy to use. Levers has this little yellow man it's like control and stuff really useful I have spent a lot of resources before I figure out levers have it and crafting tables has this anvil as you can see most of these has really good symbols or you will figure it out later at least that are a lot cheaper than most other ways you can get them and make a chicken farm and a cow farm you will need it I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions leave a comment and if you did like it like the video and if you want to see more Foamcraft 3 tutorials subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.